Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Underrated Hijabi, and in today's video, I am going to be doing the spin the wheel challenge emoji style. In this video, I will be spinning a wheel that has all the emojis that consist of food and drinks. So what we are going to be doing is we're just going to go throughout our day. <laughs> about that um there was a moth in my face um and i locked my car whenever like i sit in my car lock <laughs> breakfast time yay a sweet great okay that's the first thing let's get a drink hopefully hit a drink hit a drink I'll get sweet, I will get sweet. Pizza. A pizza! Yes! Um, mwah, mwah. Ay, yeah, yeah. Do you reckon I can get a drink? Wait, why don't I do a separate one for food and drink? Should we spin it one more time? Just once. Just to see if we get a drink. If we don't get a drink, then I have to get the food. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna spin it. Please get a drink, please, please. Go on Google, we're just double check him because it looks like tea and coffee. Hopefully, it'll be coffee. You can describe it as whatever you want. Coffee, tea, morning breakfast is a hot beverage emoji, so it can be anything I want. I'm gonna go get myself my pizza. I don't know where I'm gonna get it from. Sweet, I can get from the corner shop, and a hot beverage probably next to where I can get the pizza from. So let's just go and investigate. I've gone to three shops. I went to this shop. I went to this shop. I'm gonna show you the other two shops I went to, but like I couldn't find any sweets and wrappers. I don't think that's a thing anymore. And if it is, it's like you know mawaos and mawaos that has gelatin inside. So the first thing on the menu was sweets, right? So I got these ones because they're suitable vegans. And I don't really find sweets that are in wrappers. Oh, wow, well, look at these. Why do I open it so aggressively? Mm, they're nice, aren't they? Let's have one. So, these are boiled sweets. So they have lemon and lime, strawberry, black currant. Who still eats boiled sweets though? Oh, it tastes like a rock in your mouth, you know? Fine if you're waiting for something like if you're like in a reception or if you're in like an exam, it's a bit hard, isn't it? Anyways, let's go and get my pizza. So I got my pizza from Fire Away, it was like it was five pounds 99 and this is how it looks. That looks so good, no. And I told her to cut it into slices. I really wanted it to be one massive slice because the emoji is a massive slice, but bismillah. That tastes so good. This is so good. I think it's because I haven't had breakfast and I'm so hungry. I only allowed to have one slice and that was it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pray that I get another pepperoni slice. And I also got myself my coffee. I went to Costa. It's not as dark as the emoji photo, but like at the end of the day, the emoji is just a hot beverage. Um, so let's not judge. I just got a flat white because I, I love a flat white. It's <laughs> now. I feel like I'm gonna get hungry again in like 20 minutes because I only had one slice of pizza, that's it, and a sweet. Lunch time, yay! It's time for lunch. I am hungry, I wanna eat something. Um, I'm still thinking about the pizza, you know? And do you know how hard it is not eating a pizza that is like, is so delicious and so succulent? Oh, wait, wait, my AirPods are on. Is that rice? Is that, is that emoji rice? Yeah, I think that's rice. 
Okay, um, okay, okay, let's do another one because what am I gonna eat with the rice? You know, I might just have him plain white rice. Okay, guys, it's a champagne bottle. Obviously, I'm Muslim. That can't run, so I'm gonna have to redo that again because, you know, like this whole bottle of. Sorry about that. 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 Ooh, mochi. Is that mochi? I believe that's mochi. A drinking cup with a straw may be used for a range of non-alcoholic beverages which include milkshake smoothies juice and to-go beverages so we have the rice we have the mochi and we have the red cup that white rice looks mad bruv <laughs> myself some mochi i went to this shop and i got the three different colors of mochi i got green white and purple okay so it's going to be the green color is the bottom one we're going to do we're going to stick this at the bottom <laughs> stick it in like that white color <clears throat> one second sorry quality <laughs> then we are going to get the purple Ta -da! Bismillah. oh oh it's cold Let me pull it out. This is passion fruit. Mmm. So with that, just like the skin. Is that weird? I love the skin, man. The way it just peels off. It's so chewy. I feel this is passion fruit. Now we're gonna try this one. I believe he said it's coconut. I don't know what it is yet, guys, but I just love the skin. I feel like the skin on its own something else just squeeze it out like an avocado look see two different things let's eat the skin first I like the skin also oh, ice cream it's always the ice cream that tastes like something last but not least we have the pistachio one look at this Like that. Pistachio ice cream. It's got bits of pistachio. Next thing that I'm eating is uh, white rice. Let me give it a go, Bismillah. This is a long grain rice. And I also bought some milkshake. This is a vanilla milkshake that I got from Cheap Mills. I've never tried Cheap Mills milkshakes before. Bismillah. This tastes amazing. I specifically got vanilla. Do you know why I got vanilla? I'm sorry, but I can't have dry rice. I can't eat dry rice. I can't. The rice has have some some sauce, so we can share it between each other. Have you guys never had like? You guys are probably gonna be like, "You're so disgusting." I'll tell you why it's not disgusting. So when you're sick, right, what do you guys have like as a remedy? When I'm sick and like my stomach hurts, like I've got diarrhea and I'm constantly vomiting, I always have white rice with yogurt or white rice with uh, milk and sugar. So either way, it helps, you know, with the stomach, you know, diarrhea and stuff. So that's what I thought. I was like, imagine this would, we have it with yogurt and sugar. Why not have it with a bit of ice cream? I bet it tastes good. Bismillah. It actually tastes nice. It's sweet. It tastes like rice pudding, but a bit hard. I should have made the rice softer. This is my lunch. <laughs> this is probably the driest lunch. As the vanilla milkshake is actually underrated. Honestly, I feel like vanilla milkshake is so underrated. Like when we think of vanilla milkshake, I always think of it like as like the most basic milkshake flavor. But it's actually kind of nice, especially if you don't you know want something too sugary and chocolatey. See you guys at dinner. Dinner time, yay! We are going to be having our evening snack. We are now going to be going and spinning our wheel. Whoa, why is it so bright? Okay, so we're not going to spin it. I think I'm going to hold it because, whoa. Like a lightsaber. I'm joking. 
spin the wheel and spin the wheel spin it actually you know what it's fine popcorn okay okay um i'm expecting something like uh popcorn chicken please be a chicken please be a chicken so it could turn to popcorn chicken <laughs> what's that is that ramen i think that's that's a ramen yeah i think that's ramen so popcorn ramen, okay, please be a drink, please be a drink, hey, please be a drink, please be a drink. Ooh, and some bread, okay, so I've got popcorn, ramen, and bread. Guys, I just want it to be a drink, please, please be a drink, please be a drink. <gasps> yes, we have a coffee, another hot beverage, it could be any hot beverage that I want it to be, okay. And I think the hot beverage that I want it to be is hot chocolate, because I'm feeling a hot chocolate. So what do we have? We have popcorn, we have ramen, we have bread, and we have a hot beverage, okay. That sounds interesting, because I do have ramen, but I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's a bit late, and my stomach is going to go, hew, 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 hew. I love ramen with a bit of butter toast. Mm. Popcorn, I can't have that later on, as my hot chocolate. Oh, the noodles are good. I know, I know. I chose ramen. <laughs> you know, the thing is with ramen, it hurts my stomach for like three days. So like, I kind of like, like to have it like once a month because it's so good and it's so addicting, guys. It's been there. It's so hot. This is my favorite ramen because it's so creamy. And you have this, it's been there. This actually helps with the spice. It does, yeah. One of my brothers said to me, with every meal have bread, it's good for your digestive system. I don't know if that's true because doesn't bread make you constipated? Mm. Oh, this is so good. Mm -mm. This is sensational. Whoa. I've got my popcorn, salt and sweet. I like my popcorn to be like, I like salty and sweet popcorn. The reason why I like salt and sweet popcorn is because I don't know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be like a little surprise when it's been there. Natural seasoning, high in fiber, gluten, no palm oil, and it's vegan. It only has four ingredients. Mm, 138 calories, <laughs> only I care about calories. <laughs> Do you guys like salt or sweet popcorn? I like both. But I hate cinema popcorn though. I see it in big bags just sat on the side. All they do is just fill it up. They don't even make it fresh. I like fresh things, you know. I'm a fresh kind of girl. I've got my hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate, man. Especially at night. I didn't add too much cheese to the noodles because it's late. I keep seeing something on the on the right side but there's nothing there so i think it's a bit too late i blame in a straight down energy i need to go to sleep and i will see you guys tomorrow morning where we will complete our emoji challenge and maybe start something new <laughs> 
next day. Hi guys, good morning everybody. It is that time, the breakfast time, my favourite meal of the day and I'm so excited to, you know, see what emojis are going to be wanting to, for me to have breakfast because sometimes emojis are an expression and the expression that I want to feel right now is uh, fulfilment of the stomach area. So let's do this. It's a bit early in it, it's 10 46, yeah, that's all right timing. Yeah. That's a caramel yogurt. Please be a drink, please be a drink. A, hey, please be a drink, please be a drink. A, hey, please be a drink, please be a drink. Pancakes! <laughs> My phone loves me and Siri, if you're listening, I just want to say thank you very much for that and can the next thing be a hot a coffee? It's just that, you know, Siri listens. <laughs> please be a coffee, please. Sorry about that, I have to do it again. Guys, yeah, so this, yeah, so sorry about that. I just kept getting text messages and it kept like stopping. Please be a drink, please, please. Why? <laughs> so you're telling me a Muslim person get wine? Um, I think we're gonna turn the wine into like any juice or any cold beverage item, you see, because there isn't a cold beverage. So I'm guessing it's all inclusive. <laughs> anyway, guys, we are gonna go and get our caramel yogurt, some delicious pancakes. Mm, I can't wait to eat the pancakes. And we are also gonna be getting a cold drink. Um, and I don't know where I'm gonna get those things from. Where do they sell pancakes? Like hot pancakes. I really wanna like sit down and have a hot pancake. Guys, so I was contemplating buying pancakes, you know, from the cafes or whatever, you know, like spending money on it. Um, and then I thought to myself, I have all the ingredients at home. Literally, I have all the ingredients at home except for a buttermilk, which I just bought from the shop, right? So I had all the ingredients and I was like to myself, why would I waste money? Like a tenner, it'll probably cost me like a tenner if I'm honest with you. Like if I go to a cafe, I'm going to get a drink and then I'm going to get pancakes. Why can't I make it for myself? So guess what guys, what we're going to do is we're going to make it ourselves. This year is all about saving money. UK is going through an inflation, an energy crisis and nobody, people are struggling. <laughs> so why not make it at home? First thing we're going to do is we're going to make our dry mix. And to do our dry mix, we are going to need a bowl. What we're going to do is we are going to add some flour. I have some plain flour. I believe it's plain flour there. And this is like all purpose flour, so it has all purposes. So I'm guessing the purpose for the pancakes. You need about two cups, all right? I'm not gonna add too much because it's just gonna be me eating the pancakes. Um, and the next thing we're gonna add is some sugar. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of uh, granulated sugar inside. Okay, mix that in like that. Next thing we're gonna be adding is some salt gonna add some salt just a little bit of salt like I think you should add like half a tablespoon not really then we are gonna be adding baking soda I like baking soda baking soda I like baking soda I got baking soda add half a tablespoon of baking soda Oi. add that in we need some baking powder add exactly the same amount that's exactly the same amount right get in there that's how it looks guys that's how it looks that's how it looks guys that's how it looks mix it whisk it brisk it hmm we've got our dry mix let's put that to the side now we're going to be doing our dry mix and to do our dry mix we need to melt some butter let's crack the eggs first that's one egg okie dokie minokie padokie crack it on the side like that okay two eggs Two eggs on the side, one in the middle. We're gonna add a bit of buttermilk. Oh, the buttermilk is, wait, is this expired or is it that thick? This looks like mayo. This, guys, this does not look like mayonnaise. Let's twist that. Or maybe I, I should have added just one egg. This. Well, you know what, I'm just gonna leave this on the side. Okay, let's go melt our butter. Guys, that's melted now. We let it cool down for a little bit. So at this point, yeah, 
it. You can add vanilla extract, you can add cinnamon, you can add any flavoring that you want. Just gonna pour a little bit in there, just a little bit. Can you guys see? We'll just slowly mix it. Sorry, I'm gonna mix it. Oh my God, this might actually be enough, you know. I should use a fork in it. Guys, I'm at a car park, so if anybody catches me, this is going to be hella weird. The perfect consistency. I was thinking, shall I add um, some chocolate chip? Because I have some chocolate chip somewhere. But that is, a, that is a good consistency. What we're going to do is, we're going to let this sit. I want to. Um, the thing is, yeah, because the egg and the acids and the bicarbonate, I'm going to let the eggs and the bicarbonated and the sodas and whatever, acids out, whatever. I'm going to let that sit for 10 minutes because I want it to expand. You know, sometimes when you add like different types of like acids with like, you know, alkaline and acids and all of these things, we kind of have to let it sit for 10 minutes. I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes. So just so it can just like, what? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, to make the pancakes. What I'm going to do in the time being is I'm going to warm up the butter. So the butter is essential um, in the flippiations of the pancakes. You, do you know what I mean? When you flip it, you want it to be brown, right? So I'm going to put the oil on, I'm going to put the butter on, and then I'm going to just leave it on like the lowest of the lows. The part in your life where you feel like the lowest of the lows. We all experience that. Guys, imagine my sister just said to me, oh, why don't you guys, do, why don't you do videos talking about the lows of your life? And I'm thinking like, who wants to dwell on the lows? People want to dwell on the positive, the highs. Man's feeling all high. Take away the lows. I'm feeling all high. Take away the load. Forget about the woes. I'll be feeling high. Take away all the lows. Sorry, I'm sorry. You know, low heat. Oi, oi, oi. Oi. It's <gasps> too much, it's too much. I've created my pancakes. The top one is like a chocolate one, but the bottom two are just plain ones. They look sensational, right? So I'm gonna put like that. So I've got some syrup because like the pancakes are on. Whoa. I had to leave the window open for health and safety regulations. So I don't want to be inhaling this, you know, the gases. So I got some golden syrup. It came in this bottle, but okay. I'm gonna squeeze some golden syrup around like that. Just a little bit. Cause like on the emoji, look at the emoji, it has that. So I've got a cup. I got this from the shop, right? I saw this and I wanted to try it and it's a cold drink. Remember when I told you guys I wanted to get a cold drink? But I'm sorry guys, it's too early for me to have like grape juice or something. I know you're supposed to add ice, I don't have ice. But I have something better than ice. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this in a, in a, in a controlled environment. So I've added some to the side of this and I've also added some to a uh, drink. It's nice, isn't it? What a breakfast. <laughs> Smell that. The drink is good, very creamy, very coffee. It just seems to be a bit cold. Let's give this bad boy a go. Look at how the carts, guys. Look at how the carts. I already know these are soft. I already know they're super soft. Smell that. Mm. This is very nice, but I should have used one egg. I should have used one egg. I, too, I used too much eggs. I used this recipe with one egg. Mm. Anyway guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.